Let's take a look at practice quiz nine focused on operations with polynomials. So number one says to multiply this binomial squared times the monomial. So what I would do first is take x plus four squared and we wanna FOIL that. So we have x plus four times x plus four. You can either FOIL it or you could use the box. Either way would be good. So I have first times first would give me x times x, which is x squared. Outside times outside would give me plus 4x. Inside times inside would give me another plus 4x. And then last times last would give me plus 16. If you were to put that in a box, you would get the same thing. So you would have x plus 4 at the top and x plus 4 on the side. And you would get x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. x times 4 is 4x. And 4 times 4 is 16. So either way, you get to this point, and you got to add these two, if you can, that are in the middle, which is 4x plus 4x, which we can add together, and we get x squared plus 8x plus 16. But we don't want to forget about the fact that we're multiplying all of that by x minus 2. So now I would need to take this binomial, the trinomial I got from foiling, and multiply that now by x minus 2. So... If I, let me make a copy and put it over here where I have a little more room. If I do that, then the FOIL method is to distribute each term to the binomial or the trinomial, excuse me, distribute each term in the binomial to the trinomial. So we're going to end up with three terms and then another three terms, and then we're going to combine like terms. So I would have x times x squared would give me x cubed x times 8x would give me 8x squared, and that's positive, and x times 16 would give me 16x. Then I would distribute the negative 2, so I would say in the next row, I have negative 2 times x squared would be negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times 8x is negative 16x, and then negative 2 times 16 is negative 32. Then you just want to add up everything you can. So I've got it lined up nice and neat. And x cubed doesn't go with anything else. So we bring that down. 8x squared plus negative 2x squared would give me 6x squared. 16x plus negative 16x just adds up to 0. And then we could just bring down the minus 32. So then that's the final answer. If you like to use the box, there is a way to use the box as well. So I'm just going to make that one a little smaller and draw the next box right here. So I just need a two by three box for the next step. So you take what you get from the box, which is the same thing we got when we foiled. We have x squared plus eight x plus 16. And you put that on the longer side of this new box that's two by three. And then you wanna multiply that by the binomial we had left, which is x minus two. And so now you just fill in this box the same way you did the other one. So you have x times x squared is x cubed. x times 8x is 8x squared. x times 16 is 16x. Then we have x squared times negative 2 would be negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times 8x is negative 16x. And then negative 2 times 16 is negative 32. And then you just want to combine like terms which are diagonal from each other. Usually those add together, not always but typically they do. So we have x cubed, we have negative 2x squared plus 8x squared would be 6x squared. The negative 16x and 16x still add up to be zero, and then we have negative 32. So either way you like to work it out, you end up with x cubed plus 6x squared minus 32. You would only need to use one of those methods, of course, on your quiz. Number two says to divide. And then it asks, is 3x minus 2 a factor of the polynomial? So this is a two-part question. First, we need to divide, and then we need to answer this question. So we don't want to forget about both of those parts of this problem. So I'm going to start by putting 3x minus 2 out front and write what's underneath my dividend. So 6x cubed minus 25x squared plus 2x plus 8. And then we start with... The outside, so you say 3x is that first term on the outside. What do I need to multiply that by to get what's on the inside as that first term, which is 6x cubed? So 3x times what would give me 6x cubed 
that would be 2x squared. So we need to write that at the top, then take that term and multiply it by what's out front, and then bring both of those down. So I've got 2x squared times 3x would give me back 6x cubed, and those match, which is what I want to happen right there. Then 2x squared times negative 2 would be negative 4x squared. So then you want to change the signs by subtracting that row. The first two cancel out, and then bring down what's left. So we have negative 25 plus 4 would be negative 21x squared. And then I'm just going to bring down the rest so I don't forget anything later. Then we start over again. So now we have the same process. What's on the outside, which is 3x, that first term, times what would give us this first term underneath, which is now negative 21x squared. So 3x times what would give us negative 21x squared. That would be negative 7x. So put minus 7x at the top. Take that number, that term, and multiply by what's out front and bring both of those down. So we have negative 7x times 3x would be negative 21x squared. And negative 7x times negative 2 would be positive 14x. All right, so then change the sign. So that becomes positive 21 and negative 14x. First two mark out and then combine what you have left. So 2 minus 14 would be negative 12x and then bring down the 8. Then we start over again. Same thought. The first term on the outside times what would give you the first term on the inside. So 3x times what would give us negative 12x. That would be negative 4 or minus 4. So I'm going to put that at the top. Multiply negative 4 times 3x and negative 2 and bring those down. So negative 4 times 3x is negative 12x. And negative 4 times negative 2 is 8. But then change those signs. So that's adding 12x now and subtracting 8. Then both cancel out, so I have no remainder. So that is the first part. I have divided. So I got the quotient of 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. And then it said, is 3x minus 2 a factor of the polynomial? Well, based on the fact that we have no remainder, then we would say yes. And we can just check that box or circle it. 3x minus 2 is a factor. All right, number 3 says find the remainder. Use the factor theorem to determine whether x plus 4 is a factor of g of x, which equals 3x to the 4th plus x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus 12. All right, so I'm just going to use synthetic division to work this one out. So I put a negative 4 in the box. Remember, that's the root of x plus 4. If I set it equal to 0, I get that root of x equals negative 4, and that's what always goes in the box. Or you can just remember to change the sign of that number. That also works. Then double check that you have all your powers represented. So I have a fourth power, a third power, a second power, first power. Nothing's missing, so that's good. Then you want to write down the coefficients. So we have 3, 1, negative 2, 1, and 12. Leave room for a row of numbers and draw a line. Drop the first number down, so we have 3, and then we say 3 times negative 4 and bring it over underneath the next number. So 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Then we're adding those together, so we get 1 plus negative 12 is negative 11. Multiply that by negative 4 and bring it over. So negative 11 times negative 4 is 44, and I need to add that to the negative 2, so I get 42. Then 42 times negative 4 and bring that over. So that would be negative 168. And then add that up. So we get negative 167. And then I need to multiply that by negative 4 and bring that over. So negative 167 times negative 4. Let me calculate a little bit. So we get 668. And it's positive. And we add that to 12. So we get 680. Well, that is our remainder. So we figured out the remainder is 680, and that would mean no, x plus 4 is not a factor of this polynomial. All right, moving on to number 4. It asks us to factor the following expression completely. So we have a difference of what looks like to be cubes, except for the 2 and the 16 are not perfect cubes. So what can we do here? 
Let's try to take the 2 out because I see that 2 and 16 do both divide evenly by 2 and we'll see what's left. So that would give us x cubed minus 8. Now those are perfect cubes so we can factor them further. So set up a binomial and a trinomial factor. Put minus plus plus for your signs and then we can start working on the terms. So the cube root of x cubed just gives us 8 and the cube root of 8 just gives us 2. I think I said 8. The cube root of x cubed is x, and the cube root of 8 is 2. Then keep the sign as a minus. Well, we already put the signs in place, so we're good there. All right. Square the first term in the binomial to get the first term in the trinomial, so that would give us x squared. Square the last term to get the last term, so that would give us 4. Then multiply these two together and put those in the middle, but ignore the signs because you've already got those in place. So we have 2x minus 2, and then x squared plus 2x plus 4. That is our fully factored expression. All right, so last one, number 5 says find all the roots of f of x. So what I would certainly do first is type that into Desmos and take a look at what we have. So sometimes you can find all the roots by graphing, and sometimes we have to do a little extra work. So let's just start by typing it in and taking a look. So we have x cubed plus 5x squared minus 8x minus 48. And I see I have a double root at negative 4 and a single root at 3. And I know there's only three roots all together because this is cubic. So I'm just going to write that out. There are There's a double root at x equals negative 4 and then another real root at x equals 3 and that would be it so if we put the answer down here we have three real roots and no imaginary roots so i'm gonna put none all right so that's it for practice quiz number nine